Hi everyone, let's talk about Vietnamese lanterns. So, let's just jump into learning a little bit more about Vietnamese culture. So it's actually one of the oldest Southeast Asian cultures and it's heavily influenced by Chinese culture, but also by French and other East Asian cultures. Vietnamese art is mostly influenced by religions including Taoism, Buddhism, and Confucianism. And you can kind of see that in the images. So now let's talk about some of the national things for Vietnamese culture. Their national flower is the lotus. The animal is the water buffalo and the dish is pho. The lotus at night is actually able to close and sink underwater and then come up and rise again at dawn. And it actually symbolizes purity, commitment, and optimism. The water buffalo, and part of why it is their national animal, is because it represents happiness, prosperity, and bravery. And they play a very important role in Vietnamese culture and Vietnamese agriculture. And pho, in some ways, it kind of is a reflection of the heritage and the daily life of people in Vietnam. So this is a video that I will put a link to down below. It's just talking about why being Vietnamese is so awesome and why he's so proud of his culture. And in the description, as well as this video, I will also put a video if you want to learn some fruits and vegetables in Vietnamese, just as a cute, fun video to learn a little bit of the language. So now let's talk about holidays. So they mentioned in the video, Tet, the Vietnamese New Year. So what is your favorite holiday? And what is your favorite holiday tradition? Why is that? So there's just something to think about because there are lots of holidays, including the Lantern Festival in Huan and a link to this video will also be down below. The capital of Vietnam is not Hoan, it's Hanoi, excuse my pronunciation, but in Hoan there is a popular lantern market and lantern festival and that's kind of what Hoan is known for. So there are just so many beautiful places in Vietnam, and all of these places are specifically in Han. And this includes the Lantern Market, which you can kind of see in the corner, in the bottom left. As well as the Japanese Covered Bridge, which is next to the Lantern Market. And above that is the Fujin Assembly Hall. And above that are the My Son's Ruins, which is a Hinduism ruin site. And the blue area in the top left corner is the Silk Village, which all of these places look so beautiful, but in terms of lanterns, you can kind of make your own, a very simplified version of a paper lantern. So all you need for this mini project is colorful paper, scissors, glue stick, ruler, which is optional, and a pencil. So. To make paper lanterns, and you can make them as complex or as simple as you want, they can just simply be a very simple project, or you can add words and images to it, you can add tape or tissue paper to make it even more decorative, you can write your hopes and your thoughts onto this paper, but to make the project you'll take a piece of paper and you'll cut one strip of it off. And then you'll fold the paper in half, and preferably this would be in hot dog style, which means that it is longer. And this is optional, but if you take a ruler, you can draw a line in pencil down the side of the paper, as seen in the diagram. And this will give you a very easy time to know where to cut to. So you'll take some scissors and you'll cut on the folded part of the paper 
and this is where it folds and then you'll cut into it until you reach that line. And once you're done, you can unfold it and turn it around into a, a tube shape. And this will look like a paper lantern and you can kind of see the main shape of that. And then you'll wanna glue or tape the two ends together to make a circle or a tube. And you'll take that extra piece of paper you cut off earlier and you'll just tape it onto the insides of the paper lantern and you'll have a paper lantern. I will put a link to a TikTok from Artsphere down below for a more visual representation. So what is the significance of lanterns in Vietnamese culture? Well, and as mentioned before, Vietnamese culture does have some religious roots. So for Buddhism, as a tradition, the full moon was actually a sacred time because the Buddha was born and he attained enlightenment on a full moon. So the Hoan Lantern Festival is to celebrate the full moon and during this time, people meditate, reflect, and they take part in rituals and worship their ancestors. Locals put up lanterns for good luck and this is in the hopes that it'll bring good luck into their households. Lanterns represent a wish for happiness, luck and love, and for releasing lanterns into the air or into the water, this may be representative of letting go of worries and negative thoughts and just starting the holiday off with positive thoughts and no worries. So, for our main project today, we're going to do some watercolor and crayon art. So, I saw this art piece by Kat Colette, and it reminded me of the watercolor and crayon art that you can make. Because crayons are waxy, they are water resistant, so you can create an art piece with crayon and then the pattern you make with a crayon will show up so you can just watercolor all over it and the crayon will be able to repel the water and you'll see your crayon marks. So use the crayons to draw either the lanterns or you can create something that represents your own culture and this can be anything. They can help represent your identity or your culture, so it can be whatever you want it to be. But once you finish your crayon outlines, use the watercolor paints and paint over the image. Thank you all for coming today. I hope you enjoyed the class and hopefully we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.